Now in this video we're going to talk about an infinite geometric series that converges. Now this word converges is actually a very important word because it means that you are going to be adding numbers together forever and you're actually going to get an answer. As weird as that sounds, um, the answer is not infinity for one that converges. So how do we know when uh, an infinite geometric series is going to converge? When your R value is less than 1, you are going to get an answer to an infinite geometric series. Now, I'm going to put absolute values around this because obviously in this problem, R, R happens to be negative 1 fourth, but if you put the absolute values, it becomes positive 1 fourth, which is again smaller than 1. So these are your indicators right here, your R value. Very key, very important to this idea. And what you're going to do is you're going to have to use a formula. It's A1 over 1 minus R. So the two things that you need to find the solution to this are A1, the first term in your sequence, um, and R, uh, what your common ratio is. Now, there are shortcuts to this. You can usually just look at the problem and instantly say, oh, 10 is going to be my first term. Um, but there are ways to prove this as well. So you could, if you didn't believe me, you'd say, Mr. Moyer, all right, the first term of the sequence would obviously be 10 times 1 fourth negative raised to the n or the 1 minus 1 power which is equal to 10 negative 1 fourth raised to the 0 power which is equal to 10 times anything to the 0 power is 1 which is 10 so again a1 the first term in your sequence is 10 1 minus negative 1 fourth now I'm going to do a bunch of just arithmetic at this point 10 over 1 plus 1 fourth because double negatives which is equal to um, 10 divided by 5 fourths once you combine these together, which is then equal to um, 10 divided by 5 fourths. Now you can rewrite that. Obviously, we want to rewrite it more or less using multiplication. So we got 4 fifths, uh, cross cancel, that becomes a 2, that becomes a 1. So the answer is 8. So this keeps adding and adding and adding together forever, 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 and the answer is 8. So um, it's a very interesting concept. Uh, there's some deep analysis within problems like this, but to actually calculate where it converges at, number 8, that's how easy it is. Just use this formula right here. 